Hey everybody. Appreciate you guys stopping by today at Old Smoke and Steve's. Normally we're cooking up something uh, uh, good to eat here, around here and uh, uh, showing you how it's done. But today we're going to be doing a review on the Rectech 700 Bull. Uh, I've had a lot of grills over the days. Uh, I had uh, a Brinkman a smoker, uh, Acorn smoker, Weber gas, uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, uh, Big Green Egg, and now the Rectech 700 Bull. And also I have the Rectech Bullseye, and I really love the Bullseye, but I just unboxed this uh, Bull the other day and got it put together, and uh, we're going to show you what it's all about, uh, what it looks like, how it operates, and how it's built. So let's get out there and take a look at it. Okay, let's walk up out here on the lanai and uh, take a peek. As you can see, she's sitting there nice and pretty. And over here on the side is the uh, bullseye. But back here is the new 700 bull. I really love the looks of it. And it's really built well and it's heavy. It's good quality stuff. She's a beauty. Okay, let's take a look at this temperature controller. It's a PID controller. Uh, works off of a, a temperature probe inside the grill. And here's the power on button. Uh, has a set point, an actual temperature, probe A and probe B. And here's where you would uh, plug the probes in if you were to uh, use probes for your meat temperature. You don't have to use them, it's uh, your choice. And here's how you regulate the temperature. You, as you can see, it steps up by five degree increments and it goes all the way down to a low setting, which would be 100, 180 or 185 degrees, uh, perfect for uh, a lot of smoke and uh, making jerky. So uh, here's the uh, light switch. There is a light inside the grill. You can turn it off and on there and the power button. And I have the uh, temperature probes uh, A and B for the meat temperature on top here just sitting here so you can see them. Uh, you just plug those into the ports down below if you want to use them. This baby's really built well. And this is the hopper. It holds uh, 40 pounds of pellets, uh, 20 pounds on each side. And that's enough pellets, uh, well, probably to smoke for about 40 hours, actually, at 225. And I use nothing but uh, Bear Mountain pellets. I love those pellets. And the chimney. Nice looking chimney. That chimney is even heavy. You won't believe how heavy this thing is, guys. Really built well. Down here we have the grease bucket. And they recommend putting a little jar in there to catch the grease. That way you can just put the lid on the jar and... Uh, dump it out or throw it out as, as you uh, wish and you have locking wheels on one end nice shelf at the bottom and at the other end some uh, larger wheels now I didn't have any problems uh, wheeling this around on these pavers so uh, it worked out pretty good that uh, shelf there is uh, an accessory that I purchased uh, yeah, I wanted to have a front shelf, so I bought that and put that on the front. And inside here, we'll take a peek. But first, uh, this lid only opened up so far. There's a couple nice uh, stops back there that limits how far that shelf will open, which really makes it nice. And as you can see, there's those uh, stops. And the side view or end view of the hopper 
I really like the way they designed this. That hopper curves around that barrel. Little light inside. You operate that with that uh, little red button there on the temperature controller. On, off. Pretty nice, huh? And down here we have the fire pit. Uh, there's a ceramic igniter down there. Try to point to it so you can uh, actually see it right there. And here's the auger. Uh, that's what feeds the pellets into the fire pit and uh, gets your temperature up. And over here on the side is the uh, temperature probe which regulates the temperature of the grill through the uh, temperature uh, controller. And here is the uh, heat deflector that goes over the fire pit. Now you have uh, one large cutout and on the other hand you have a small cutout. Now that large cutout will go towards the back of the grill just like so. fit over that fire pit. That way you're not getting direct heat on your food. Then we have the uh, grease tray which fits over the top of that and that has a big lip, a very big lip on one end and the other end just a small lip. Now that uh, big lip will go on the uh, right hand side uh, by the grease uh, grease bucket. And the way it's designed is that the grease tray slants down towards the grease bucket. And you want to keep both sides open for airflow. And as I say, uh, that's uh, tilted a little bit so that grease will go down into the grease bucket. By the way, all this stuff is stainless steel. 304. Uh, there's different qualities of stainless, and it's all 304 stainless, even these grates. And they're, they're nice and heavy grates. You can't beat this stuff, guys. Uh, 304 stainless, not going to rust on you. It's going to stay nice and pretty. Nice big surface here to cook on. Nice light pretty awesome. So let's close this lid. Step back and take a look at it. Here's the shelf accessory that I bought. The front folding shelf. As you can see there's a couple of buttons on the ends there that you just push in and fold that shelf down out of the way. And it's really a nice looking machine. If you have any doubts whether this is quality made or not, uh, you can forget about it. It's really made nice. And uh, this thing has a six year warranty, and customer service is second to none. They stand by their products, and if something's wrong, they're going to take care of it for you. This thing is really put together. I love everything about it. So guys, that's the bull. It's well built. It's heavy. It's going to be nice. I'm really going to enjoy cooking on it. Uh, the next video, I'm going to be doing the burn in and uh, show you how we do that. And, uh, I failed to mention uh, about the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, the smoker does have uh, Wi-Fi and uh, you can monitor uh, uh, temperatures, set temperatures, turn it off and on, uh, get alarms on your phone, uh, regulate it from the golf course, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. It's all good. Uh, you can uh, you be using your uh, meat temperature probes and monitor the temperature of your meat as the day goes along, maybe you're out at the beach or out on a boat or playing golf or just whatever, fishing, whatever. 
uh, you have that capability with this grill. Uh, so uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up uh, on the next video and uh, show you how we uh, get it lit on the initial light and uh, get it burned in. See how it performs. See how it regulates that temperature as we do that. So be sure to uh, watch that video as well and be sure to subscribe, uh, share, and like this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.